In this video, we're going to show you how to install export action presets. Now, an export action preset is very different than an export preset. Let me show you that. If you go to the export dialog box inside of Lightroom, on the left hand side there are a bunch of presets. Those presets define how you're going to and what you're going to export from Lightroom. That is not what an export action is. An export action preset is down, down at the very bottom of the export dialog box. There is a panel called post processing. The post processing panel has a drop down menu that says after export. That after export is what you're going to do with the file after Lightroom has exported it. You can show it in the finder, you can open it in Photoshop, or you can open it in another application. If you click on that, you can define what that's going to be. The other option that's available here is go to export action folder now, which is what we're going to do in order to show you where to install those. Now, before we do that, let me just give you a quick understanding of what an export action is. An export action is anything that will allow Lightroom to physically drag photos onto an icon or a, a Photoshop droplet or anything. If you can drag a photo onto something and have it do something, um, even like a, a Mac Automator program or uh, the Mail icon or uh, Photoshop or uh, InDesign or if you can drag a photo onto a particular icon for a program, then that program can be used here inside of this dialog box um, as a way of telling Lightroom, once you're finished exporting these files, I want you to drag them onto this particular icon. And then it will take over from there and do whatever it is that it's supposed to do. So let's go to that folder. You'll notice that we have none in there right now. Now this is the same export actions folder that's in all of the inside of the Lightroom folder and look it's right next to the develop presets it's right next to the export presets it's next to the import presets so all of the presets are here as well as the actions the export action uh, folder and that's where we're going to put those export actions now let me show you what kind of export actions we can put in here first off if you wanted to uh, put a program in here of some sort you could simply just go to let's say the mail icon and if you right click the mail icon and find it in your finder or your explorer and right click it again and create an alias now you have an alias to mail if you take that mail alias out and you drag it into that folder it will now be available for you in Lightroom if I go back to Lightroom and I go back to the export dialog box, so I'm going to click on export, go down to the bottom, click on this, and you can see now that mail is available to me. If I leave it like this so that it's asking me for mail, it will export whatever files I've created and then it will drag them onto the icon for the mail program. And if you do that, then it will open mail and do whatever mail does when you drag images onto the icon and in this case what mail will do is make a new email and put those photos into mail so you can add anything you want into the export actions folder and again you find that just by clicking on go to export actions folder now from the export dialog box so we're going to open that up and we're going to hide Lightroom and we're going to add things to there now if you've purchased the comprehensive Lightroom preset collection from me you will find that inside the zip file there is a folder and that folder has a bunch of different presets one of those presets being export actions so this is drag contents to export actions folder if you click on that grab this contents here which are all a bunch of droplets from Photoshop and this is what they look like they're little arrows with PS on them those are called Photoshop droplets Photoshop droplets are basically actions in a little program form. If you were to drag an image onto this, it would open up Photoshop and it would run this particular action. So we're going to grab all of these and copy them. So right click and copy. 
and then go over here to the Export Actions folder, right click, and paste. Once you've pasted all of your droplets into and, and your shortcuts to different programs into your Export Actions folder, if you go back to Lightroom and we go to the Export dialog box, at the very bottom, you'll find the Post Processing panel now has a bunch of Photoshop droplets ready for us to command Photoshop with Lightroom to do something specific. Now you may have a whole bunch of additional droplets that you use on a regular basis, and I would suggest that you take those droplets and plug them into Lightroom so that you have them available for your use as well.